good is simply not good enough. I can assure you that is the collective position of ownership. And when I asked during the interview stage, what was the definition of success to the owners? One of them immediately said emphatically, just win. I would just like to thank Sheldon Keefe uh, for the nine seasons that he has given this organization five as head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, Sheldon uh, had a difficult job in that, as he had stated, he had dresses the players every single day and dresses the media two times, sometimes three times a day. And I just want to say that in uh, that entire time with us, Sheldon has done it with dignity, uh, with grace, and with professionalism. Uh, I'd like to thank his wife, Jackie, his son, Landon, and Wyatt. Um, Sheldon is a great coach, and they don't need me to tell them this, but he's an even better man. So thank you to Sheldon. I also respected the fact that Sheldon uh, took on a lot of the responsibility for the lack of results in the playoffs. Um, I respect that. However, the reality of the situation is the ultimate responsibility is on me. The accountability is on me. Um, our playoff results have not been good enough. That's on me. The results that we've had in the playoffs, our players know, we know, I know, they're unacceptable. Uh, they're unacceptable to our fans and they're unacceptable to all those that support the Toronto Maple Leafs. The difficulty of this business is sometimes really good people and people that are good at their job have to be changed. Um, and when I look back at the, the, the 11 months I spent with Sheldon, a lot the, the past year, um, I do consider him an, an excellent coach. Um, this does not fall at his feet. And by no means do I want it to be taken that by making a change at the head coach position, um, that all arrows point at Sheldon. But I also couldn't just look at the past year in a vacuum. I'll talk a little bit in terms of um, the review of the season, but I had to take into consideration the totality of Sheldon's time here. And I felt, and at the end of the day, it was my decision. I felt strongly that a new voice was needed. Everything is on the table. We will discuss everything. Uh, our focus right now is on finding a new head coach and certainly that new head coach will have an important voice as part of our decisions going forward.